Fora TV. The world is thinking. There is a long-standing line of argument that says um, you should try and support the prices of the assets themselves that are collapsing, and in this case, the housing assets. Um, I have to say, I've, it's clear that you would like to have some mechanisms, and you can imagine mechanisms, to put a floor under the house price falls because there's a danger of very big overshoots. I'm not in the least persuaded that house prices in the US, let alone any of the other countries with bubbles, are even at equilibrium levels, let alone having overshoot shot. I think adopting a general policy of trying to keep house prices above market clearing levels is a very, very bad idea. And uh, because, I mean, you, you're basically trying to set, the government would in some ways be trying to set the prices of uh, a vast part of the, um, the asset base for an economy for the indefinite future. Unless you're really pretty confident you're above, uh, you're, you've overshot downwards and house prices are still above long-term trends in most countries, um, I think that would be a very bad idea. What you can do, and that becomes more interesting, is what we did when we had a house price collapse in the early 1990s. You can help some of the people who were affected. Uh, we did that through our welfare system, but you don't really have one, so you can't do that. Um, that's a policy choice. You can obviously help with bankruptcy provisions, provisions above all that force a smooth for of renegotiation of the contract, no longer viable between the borrower and the lender. It helps a great deal if you don't have non-recourse loans. Um, most of our, uh, most other countries, uh, um, uh, a, a default on a housing loan automatically means um, personal bankruptcy. That gives a long, strong incentive for people to sustain payments. But I really don't like the idea of interfering with the clearing of uh, the market. A more necessary thing to do, it seems to me, is policies that do at some level sustain uh, aggregate demand in this situation. I'm afraid, and this is a position that I really don't like being in, as many of my friends will know, we are in a sort of Keynesian world now. And that means for sure we're going to have enormous fiscal deficits. The fiscal deficit here is exploding and will get bigger. The same is going to happen in Britain. And, uh, and monetary policy, of course, will be dramatically relaxed but won't turn out to be very effective. The, my bottom line on this is I agree with your analysis, but we are going to go through a pretty significant recession, and I'm not sure trying to fix the house price declines themselves is a good way of preventing this.